Let's make sure you understand the normal shape of the waveform. We can describe it as a box, a plateau with fairly vertical sides. You can overcomplicate it and break it down into phases one through four, phases zero through four in some books. I think the more important thing is expiratory versus inspiratory phase, okay? So when your patient exhales, we detect CO2, and then the width of the waveform, that top of the waveform is the duration of your patient's expiratory phase. Remember, pressure of CO2 over that time interval, time capnography. And then the back side of the waveform is the inspiratory phase. When they start to inhale, atmospheric air is now going across the sensor and those pressures drop to zero. So the top of the waveform is the majority of the expiratory phase. We want the same pressure at the beginning of the breath as we do at the end of the breath. That tells us we have equal pressure distribution throughout the exhalation phase and no obstruction of flow. Now, some patients have an obstruction of flow problem and you'll see a lower pressure at the beginning of the breath and a higher pressure at the end of the breath. We get a slope to the top of that waveform. We call that the shark fin. Also, in the shark fin, you aren't gonna see a quick vertical rise because they often have these prolonged expiratory phases. So that might lay over a little bit. And then you get an what I call the atelectasis slur. You don't get a crisp box, you get a little slur to the top, okay? But it's important that you know that what defines a shark fin is not the slur. It's whether it's sloped or it's flat. You can work this into your physical assessment with your patients. I like to observe their expiratory phase. There's two ways to identify a prolonged expiratory phase. Why is a prolonged expiratory phase important? It tells me they have a lower airway disease problem. There's only four. You got asthma, COPD, CHF, and pneumonia. Categorically, we'd say bronchoconstriction, alveoli, fluid, and gunk and junk like in an infection situation. So if my patient breathes in and works hard to breathe out, I can see it. That's the first way to identify it. Or I'll see it in the width of the waveform because it's over that time interval. Okay. Pulmonary edema does not cause a, a slope. There's no obstruction of flow with pulmonary edema because CO2 is so soluble in water, it diffuses through fluid at the exact same rate it does through air. Gunk and junk and infections. There's no shark fins from infections because there's usually a path of least resistance out the lungs to that sensor on the lips. So if I have a prolonged expiratory phase patient with a flat top, I instantly know it's probably CHF or pneumonia without even asking any questions of that patient. If I have a prolonged expiratory phase with a slope, I'm going down that obstruction of flow problem. If they're on a cannula, I'm thinking asthma, COPD. If they're intubated, gunk and junk in that tube, because everything has to bottle up, neck up that tube, there's no path of least resistance. So in an intubated context, if I have a shark fin developing the first thing, suction that tube, make sure it's not keen. If I'm sure that the circuit's clear of obstructions, then I can start thinking about a pathological obstruction in my patient's lungs do I need an inline neb, that sort of thing. It's important to understand when you're determining normal waveform from shark fin waveform, don't let the whole slur thing confuse you. Anyone with a prolonged expiratory phase, anyone with a lower airway disease problem is gonna have atelectasis, and they're gonna have, it's gonna take more time to clear that dead space there. That's what the vertical rise is, it's clearing the dead space there, and they're gonna slur. So what defines a shark fin is it slurs and slopes. Okay? If it slurs and flattens out, that's not a shark fin. So the slur does not define the shark fin. It's the top of the waveform, whether it's flat or sloped. So remember that when you're mixing your waveform assessment with that physical assessment. Don't get lulled into the, the slur beginning. Focus on the top of that waveform.